Dear parents, do you love your children? No offense, I'm not questioning you. I'm just questioning you. Do you love your children? I know it sounds rude to ask. I mean, all parents would say they would give their child the world. And I believe them. But parents, do you ever think about the state of that world that you're going to leave them? Look, you work hard to provide for your family. A parent's job is never finished. I commend it. You want generational wealth and that's terrific. But tell me, what is the point of generational wealth if the future generations don't even have a world to spend it? I know what you're thinking. Kids these days, what do they know? You may say we're young, we were born yesterday, and okay, you would be right. We were born yesterday, but we stayed up all night, and we figured something out. Would you like to hear it? Humanity will never solve climate change with its science. It'll solve it with its spirit. Not by rebalancing economies, but rebalancing philosophies, because don't we treat the earth how we see the earth? Mom, Dad, I know you watch a lot of news, and despite what Fox and CNN says, climate change, it ain't political. It's parental. Plain and simple. And that's why I'm not here advocating the Paris Agreement. We're here advocating the parents agreeing. Because it comes down to one question and one question only. Do you love your kids? If you do, prove it. Show it then. When you ask what we want to be when we grow up, please leave us an actual world to grow up in. <laughs> Let me calm down. Parents, I'm not here to shame you today or have a hateful debate on climate change and rage about civilization making mistakes, show you pictures of polar bears, wildfires, and tell you how animal agriculture insanely raises the stakes. I mean, yeah, that's facts. Don't get me wrong. But the scare tactics? I'm not a fan at all. You already know the only Milky Way these kids will see will be the candy bar. You already know when they turn 30 years old there will be more plastic in the ocean and fish. You already know this. Like I said, you hear it on the news. And that's where the freaking news goes wrong. Because if you simply focus on what's going wrong, you get more of what's going wrong. That's universal law. Please stop inciting fear. Let me make this quite clear. Martin Luther King's speech, I Have a Dream, would not have been the same if it was called, I Have a Nightmare. Because he knew the doomsday and the naysaying is straight lame. It is through inspiration and hope that we make change. So all you environmental activists who take aim, shame, and place blame, I feel your pain because I was the same. Foolish. But you must see the irony of having heated debates over global warming. Bro, cool it. Cause the solution is teamwork and what good is driving an environmentally friendly vehicle if you're a mean person? One thing certain love is what we need urgent. But I get it. Technology has blinded us, clouded our common sense to the point where if I say we are not separate from nature, many start doubting it. But think about it. When we were born, we did not come into the world. We came out of it. We are nature. So parents, my call to action is not to recycle, but to remember. Remember when you step outside, nature is alive. Remember the wind is her voice, the rocks are her bones. Remember when you breathe, every inhale is mirrored by an exhale of a tree. Remember the water you drink comes from the streams and the sea. Remember here forth that love is the greatest renewable resource. It is so resilient. And perhaps most of all, remember us. We are 2.2 billion. And we chose you to protect our futures, not steal them. Because remember, you did not inherit this earth from your ancestors. You're borrowing it from your children. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Now before you go, I want to tell you one thing. Now, while the media today wants you to be afraid, I want you to not look at the world as a crisis 
that needs saving, but as a friend that needs remembering, as a love that needs honoring. You know, Martin Luther King once said that those who love peace must learn to organize as effectively as those who love war. So this Earth Day and every day, I want you to join me in organizing with the Nature Conservancy and their mission to heal this planet. I want you to go to nature.org and find a local chapter in your area and get involved today. You know, Margaret Mead once said, never underestimate the power of a small group of committed people to change this world. For that is all that ever has. Peace.